demonstrating the square knot pico pattern. We're going to do a series of square knots, but they'll be spaced out. So we'll start. If you need a bit of a refresher on the square knot, I'll link the I'll put a link below to the tutorial for our square knot. So we are doing one square knot. And then we leave a bit of a space. So in this one, I'll drop down a couple of centimetres, maybe two finger widths, and I'll do a second square knot. And again, drop down the same distance, about two finger widths. And then once you've done a couple of square knots, then you hold on to your two filler cords and grab onto the square knot with your other hand and slide them up the filler cords. Flatten them out and they look like this. They are a great addition to some, some of your other works like your wall hangings or even your plant hangers. So what I like to do, let me show you. So I love to make these little pods and they're a great addition to the bottom of your work. When you've got all of these loose cords here, I call them butterflies. Um, you can actually do a much longer series of these square knots in the pico pattern. So you could do as many as you like, but I often just do one or two and um, they create a really great detail. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out my other tutorials and like and subscribe. Cheers.